and I am waiting on Ronnie from North Carolina Central University who is late. <laughs> you are not supposed to be late to class, Ronnie, and you are not supposed to be late to step into college. What is your excuse today? <laughs> Actually, I was um, back getting ready. and uh, Back getting ready. And, uh, you you got to be prepared. When, when, uh -uh. I was just <laughs> talking to Aubrey, and when opportunities come, you have to be ready to step into those. You are correct. So your opportunity is here, and I thank you so much. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I already tapped her on the, I'm just being in this, this teacher preachy mode today. Let me get out of that. But thanks for being here. And, and what do you do at North Carolina Central University? Um, I'm a Senior Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admissions. Okay, and in that role, you deal with a lot of students who want to go to college. So what's one of the biggest pieces of advice that you can give to any high school student or parent that is watching to prepare for college? Um, I would say that students need to make sure, uh, take advantage of all the opportunities at their high school, um, speak with their high school guidance counselor, um, make sure can that I, they're can taking... Can I stop you for a second? Because I'm getting really frustrated with something. Okay. Every time I talk to college admissions counselors and educators, they say, talk to your guidance counselor. That's a great thing. We know it's a great resource, but something, see, I'm trying to be real here. Something's going on. Students are not talking to their guidance counselors. What is your, used to work in a high school, right? Correct. Why do you think students don't utilize the resource? Because the guidance counselor is excellent. Talk to me about what you think some of those barriers are so that we can break that down a little bit. Well, I think some of the barriers um, are that the students uh, look at the guidance counselor almost like a, an, an assistant principal. Hmm. Um, so they may be scared to approach that person. Um, I think they have to reach out to the guidance counselor on a one-on-one -on -one level and, mm -hmm. and speak to them almost as, as a friend and they have to um, connect with that person. So establish a rapport with them. Correct. Okay, so let's think about it like this. If I know I need help to be successful and there is a resource that is like right by me, to not utilize that, to not get that help, isn't that like handicapping myself? Yes, it is. So students, you're handicapping yourself. If you have a guidance counselor in your school and you haven't met with them, you haven't gone to talk to them about where you are and what you need to do to prepare, you literally are handicapping yourself as you progress towards your future. So I heard that as one important thing. What else do students need to do if they are college bound and they want to get into a school like North Carolina Central University? Um, students need to research um, whatever schools they're interested in. Uh, I see many times students wait until their senior year mm -hmm. to try to get involved and contact the colleges, but really in that freshman, sophomore year, they need to be making the decisions about the classes they need to take mm -hmm. and some of the extracurricular activities they need to participate in. Now, when you say research a college, what types of things should they look at when they're starting to choose which college they want to go to? Um, I would look at admissions requirements to start to make sure the, um, the correct classes are being taken. Okay, let's um, talk about North Carolina Central. Okay. If, because there are a lot of students watching right now, and I know y'all want to apply to Central. So talk to me about some of those basic requirements. Uh, for NCCU, we, we are a UNC system school. Okay. Um, so students must take uh, four units of English, um, mm -hmm. three, um, un three units of science, two mm -hmm. units of social science, um, two units of the same foreign language as well. Okay. Um, Y'all heard the same foreign language. Because don't you see some students who, what do you say? They'll take Spanish one and then take French one. And that doesn't uh, meet our admission standards. So they have to be in the same foreign language. Wow. What's one of the biggest mistakes you see students make? Um, wow. There are a lot of them I know. Uh, yes, it is. Like it. one I know is some students only apply to one school. Right. What's wrong with that? Tell me. Right. Uh, students need to apply to multiple schools, at least three um, schools. Um, uh, some people will say a REIT school, a school that they think they can get into but just not sure, a, mm -hmm. a school that they uh, are extremely interested in and also a school that um, they know they can get into. Okay. So at least uh, three so schools. So they have that variety. Correct. Now how do they know if it's a school that they have a pretty good chance of getting into? Is there something that they can go to online or is there a university profile that they can right. view with an average SAT or talk to me about that? Most of the time you can go to the school's website but um, if they're not able to, to go there they may have to just make uh, contact by phone. But you can go to the school's website and most time if they don't post their minimums they will at least post their average. Okay. And from there, doesn't that tell them the average type of student in terms of GPA and so forth that that school accepts? Yes. yes now, 
talk to me about that too because they might see a 3.5 as the average and say, oh, I have a 3.2, so does that mean not apply to that school or what? Well, students have to remember that an average, uh, mm -hmm. with an average, some students are above and some students are below. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you are extremely below the average, I would at least think about, think about it before you pay that application fee. Mm -hmm. But uh, some students are above and, and below that average. Okay. So tell me again some of the, the biggest mistakes you see students make. Let's talk about the student that always wanted to go to Central, but they're not ready. Or they get there and they don't do well. What did they miss in their high school career that was critical for them? Well, math classes have been uh, have have become very important, especially in the UNC system. I left out mm -hmm. this requirement actually. Uh, we'll talk four, about it now. Yeah, four units of math: um, algebra one, algebra two, geometry, and then a fourth higher level math. Um, wow. These are minimum requirements for the UNC system. So now wait, students wait, have to take. You said minimum. Minimum. And you said four. four. So tech math one, tech math two. They don't. If qualify. I want to go to Central. They don't qualify. Wow, that's huge for somebody out there. And so what that means is if they get to the end of their senior year and they have lower maths and they don't have the ones you said, they're not getting in? Correct. Cool. Even if they have like a 3.8 or a 4.0? Minimum requirements, so they, they can't get in even with a 4.0. Who is going to help them to know that they're taking the right courses so that they're on track when they get to their senior year? Well, hopefully the um, high school guidance counselor will Wait, be Wait, you mean the, one, the yes. one they need to be with? <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> oh. uh, but the parents really need to get involved. Uh, parents okay. need to get involved with the student's education, uh, make sure that, that um, they're doing everything that they need to do so we don't have to uh, give them a, a, a bad letter or a bad decision. We don't want that. Correct. Here's step into college. We want them to step into college. We don't want them to get those denial letters. Now, talk to me about your own education. Where did you go to school? Well, I actually attended North Carolina Central. Imagine um, that. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. Nobody in the audience clapped for Central. I ain't getting no love today. We got two eagles in the house. Audience, what's up? Central, can you send us some love? <laughs> what was your major? Uh, business administration. Okay, and you're working in education. Uh, correct. How did you correct. fall into to this passion? Because I know you, so I know you're passionate about students. Talk uh, to me. Yes. Actually, um, I started working with the IRS CID um, in oh. my senior year um, at NCCU as an internship. Um, but um, after I graduated, I wanted to teach music. Um, I was in school. I was drum major at North Carolina Central. And I uh, started going back to get a second degree in music education. Mm -hmm. And then while I was there, I was recruiting for the band program and the people in admissions <laughs> mm -hmm. saw that I was doing a good job and it became a job interview and then eventually um, became employed in CCU. Wonderful. Congrats on that. Thank you. Thank you. Now we do have an audience and there are some questions over there. So I'm going to now throw it over to 16 uh -huh. who's going to